I mean, how did they do a facial lift? Rub your face with a brick. <laughs> it seems like everything... Seeing the footage of people floating about. Yeah, and Stephen Hawking's been up there. He's done it. Yeah, but what damage can he possibly do to himself now? <laughs> He's knackered. Years ago, when they first got on the moon or in space, it was all... <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story with you? Welcome back to the channel. We're checking out Edith Abroad. This is season two, episode two. How did we get here? <laughs> Carl Pickens and Meadows get here. I love the geezer. Funniest geezer alive to me right now. I don't know why. I'm just loving him. Literally. I behave like him. I talk like him. I just don't care. I love it. Uh, this is season two, episode two, Siberian Express. No, Trans-Siberian Express. Let's go. Travel the Trans-Siberian Railway. Oh, oh really? Wow. Oh. That's the stuff of dreams, isn't it? <laughs> this is known as the greatest train journey in the world. Is it? That's its nickname. But is that because most train journeys aren't that great anymore? <laughs> I never get on the Pendolino oh, from Houston no. to Manchester. Mm. You know, I'm looking forward to this. I do it because it's getting me from A to B. Well, I've always wanted to do the trans Siberian Express. I mean, I'm fascinated by Russia. So the history it's alone. grim though, isn't it, Russia? What do you mean grim? What, all of it? It's the biggest country in the world and all of it's grim. The bits you see on the telly is people queuing for spuds and stuff like that. <laughs> now, maybe it is a good train journey to them. Maybe their other trains are, are worse than ours. What if I told you this? The luxury carriages of the Trans-Siberian Express have, you know, all the modern cons. It's all, it's like luxury stuff. What's the toilet situation on the train? <laughs> I mean, as I understand it, Fair. and I have never been on the journey, so I can't say for certain, but there's, you know... Toilets. There's toilets. As long as there's toilets. How long are you on the toilet? Ages. I sit oh, there why? loads. It's, just, it's me time, isn't it? I like to sit in there. It's me. There's no one else coming in annoying me when I'm in there. Everywhere else I go in the house, Suzanne's there. You haven't done this yet. Have you called them yet? That needs fixing. She doesn't come in there. Shut the door, sit there, my legs go numb. That's that's a thing for me that I've, I've got to get up in a minute because otherwise she will have to come in and help me off. What the <laughs> What a life! What a life! Oh, like. He's carved out for himself. <laughs> I just did. What the f It's not it's not one that there. jumps out for me. I'm not over the moon with it, but it's better than the others. That's the problem with this list. Can we sign you up for this one? Yeah? Oh. Great. Trans Siberian Express. Let's yeah. go. Enjoy it. Uh -uh. All right, you just give us a lift into town. Hope you do not value life too much and got good life insurance. The brakes in this car just failed. It's the worst car I ever bought. It's British and I never thought a car could be made that bad. Wow. All right. Wow. <laughs> what brings you here? Well, I'm going on the train on the Trans-Siberian Railway. There's things to do before you die. You've been on it? Why would I want to do something that's totally predictable? I'll leave it to you, British. <laughs> you will be packed this is smelly. That is the Russian version of Carl, isn't it? It doesn't care as well. Oh, Lord. He's taking the piss out of the British. So much shots. Oh, wow. Carriage with Russians who will not wash for a week, <laughs> but they will drink a lot. Siberia is nothing, it's just one huge field. Wow. You're not selling it to me. So anyway, what do you want to see? <laughs> the, the red square? Whatever you think is worth seeing here. Nothing. Right, well, that's not great. I mean, I thought I was miserable. Good Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if that's what I'm like, Suzanne always says that I moan a lot. I'm nowhere near that level, surely. If she exactly moans at me again, I wish she was here, really, just so I can say, come and meet this miserable bastard. <laughs> I mean, he's in the wrong job, isn't he? He's working with tourists. They don't get that many tours here, can they? But, but, but because of him, they would. They won't have him as the first point of contact when people come in. True. Honestly, if there was a plane going back now, I'd get on it. Forget the train journey. <sighs> got a text Ooh. just asking me to go and check a place out and get some food. Oh, he's, he's got to be better than the taxi ride, hasn't he? Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Cheers. What do you think? The food looks all right. The building's lovely, it's just that there's a lot of blokes sat around with next to now on. Are they totally nude? I didn't want to look properly, I just sort of saw skin. I didn't want to look properly. 
it's summer tomorrow. But this it's leather furniture. You shouldn't sit on the leather sofa with a bare ass. Oh. I didn't like getting my dad's Ford Cortina with shorts on because your skin sticks to it. <laughs> I certainly don't want my bollocks stuck to this. Fuck? And I don't even want to touch it now. Excuse me. Oh god. It's wipeable. But has it been wiped? I brought you some towel and a and a hat. You're gonna go to the steam room now. Steam room. Steam room. Yeah, it's what we're here for. I didn't know that. Nobody said that. You're dressed and we're waiting you in the steam room. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. See you. Cheers. He's gonna go. It's show time. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You dressed well. Listen. This is you. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take a shower first. Uh, because you gotta get wet. Now everything's hot. No, it's not so hot. I like a massage. I love it when I get in. I say to Suzanne, rub my legs, they're active. Rub my neck. Yeah. Just a nice rub, that's all I want. Nice and quiet. Ten minutes of that. Whale noises. Uh... I've never seen anyone in a sauna getting hit by a shrub. It's like being in a car wash. <laughs> And the thing is, because I can't feel anything at the moment, because I feel scalded, they might be nettles. I'll be covered in rashes in a bit, and then they'll be whacking me again with dot leaves. Fucking hell. Sorry, sorry. That scent definitely reminded me of when I went to China and I got a massage and they thought, is this a massage or am I getting mugged here? That definitely reminded me of that. That was... <laughs> the nettles or not. That could literally be nettles. I don't, I don't think it was. Fuck's sake, what a lad, what a guy. <laughs> Is it the good or what? He says a lot that women aren't here. Because women are a bit more screwed on, I think, when it comes to knowing how to relax. They go off and have a nice little face rub. Leg massage. Facial. I mean, how do they do a facial here? Rub your face with a brick. <laughs> It seems like everything, you can't enjoy anything. <laughs> what a brick. Can't wait to get out of Moscow. I haven't enjoyed it very much, <laughs> to be honest. I've had enough of it. Got face. some revels. Just to keep me going. You know, on the train. A... Had enough oh, of that. it. Got some revels. Oh, revels. Just to keep me going. You know, on the train. Glad just to get on the tracks, really. <laughs> Start the journey that I'm here for. This is all a bit sort of Aberdeen Angus Steakhouse, 70s. But other than that, I, it's, it's sound. Yeah, perfect. Is it? This is all I want, my own space. No people annoying me, no noise, no crowds. I doubt it's gonna go smooth. I'm sure Ricky and, and Stephen Merchant have definitely planned something miserable for him. And I love it. I love it. I love seeing him in a miserable situation. I love it, love it, love it. I hope so. Let's go. I just look out the window at Russia, which is what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> You're just going to keep yourself to yourself. Russia. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm not here to annoy anyone. They don't have to annoy me. Let's just enjoy it. For me, it says perfect. I can't moan. Ricky and Steve, this is what they said I was going to get, and they've delivered. They did. No, I'm not going to moan. <laughs> No. This, this here. Yeah. Yeah. Room six. Oh, room six. Same as this. I knew it. It was too good to be true. I'm guessing it's gonna be in some little shitty room, something like that. Oh God, it's got. All right, just give us a minute because I need to get a bag and shoes. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, I'll come to room six in a minute. All right. Just give me a minute. I'll just put my shoes on. I'll come down to room six. You still there? Yeah, I'll come down in a minute. Just, just let me put these on and get all my stuff together. And I'll come down. Brilliant. I will, I will come down if you want to... 
can find it on my own if you like. Mm. I, I can come down. Just packing my stuff. Mm. It's only 12 in that one. <laughs> this is good. <coughs> Smoking garage. Are we going in the rough part here? Is it much further? Much. Yeah, I'll have a fucking laugh. Really? Stay here. What do I do? Where will I sit? This one's mine. This isn't funny, this. This is dangerous. <laughs> what class is this? Seriously. I'm sat on a shelf. This isn't a bed. Shut <laughs> Jeez, I feel like I'm Frank. I hope there's no, there's no one going to be above me again, is there? No, that no, no, bed no. There. I feel like I'm... <laughs> Jeez, I feel like I'm Frank. <laughs> I hope there's no, there's no one going to be above me again, is there? That isn't another bed up there, is it? It's just not practical, this. I'm at Frank. least I've got a bed. Bitch, stop saying at least I've got a bed. Great for putting books on. Ornaments. It's not a bed. It's not a bed. Sorry, this is gonna be this would have been me as well because I love my space. I don't like people being in my space. I ate it so much. Like I could be the most outgoing person. Like I could literally chat to someone new every I could do it. But then there's some times where I just wanna be alone. Do you know what I mean? So if this is me as well, I'll be getting mad as well. So I do get why it's getting angry. I understand. Alright, how's it going? Did you get on the train and everything? Well, yeah, it was lovely for about 20 minutes before they moved me to third class. <laughs> nice, that. It was experience it for a, a while, wasn't it? You experience it. Do you get bored with first class? I mean, just want to sort of well, see the real rush of that. Didn't, so. didn't, didn't really get a chance to get bored with it. What was third class like? What do you think? Third class? I didn't even know there was a third class. I don't even send letters third <laughs> class. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe there was a third class. Anyway, uh, I'm letting you out of the next stop. It's the 50th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's first space flight. So um, I've arranged for you to do some cosmonaut training. You're going to get to ride the centrifuge and experience zero gravity and mm, everything. Um, that's good. Very lucky. Very lucky. Mm. All right. See you later. I'll see you later. It's just, I think it's just something that was done years ago. It was a nice idea in the 60s, there was all that space race, wasn't there? People keen to get up there. But then it's just died out. It's not to me, out. it's how, like, everybody was sort of into going to Tenerife in the 80s. Everywhere has its day. Do you know what I mean? After that, Benidorm. <laughs> Before that, space. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> is that these these are places that are talked about in certain decades space. and after a while sorry he just compared space with Benidorm and Tenerife like what the fuck really <sighs> this man is not real people realise space they're not that great and they stop going and I think that's what happened with like space and the moon you're not interested in zero gravity no, I like having my feet on the ground <laughs> and being in control of where I'm going. I don't understand. I, d I don't. I, d I don't understand. Can I see this move without me in? You're insane. <laughs> yeah. But is it possible to see it without me in, just to see what it, it does? No, it's it should be inside. I thought it was a whizzy thing. Yeah. It's it spins around. To and where? And you, inside. I thought I've seen something different to this. In James Bond, it was like an egg James on an arm. Bond. And it whizzes round. James and you can see Bond. my face and I can go, oh. Yeah, that, that's a film, though. 
it would make it a lot easier if I see someone else go in here, whiz round and see what they come out like. Do I have any control? You will not control. I came to Russia to get on a train. Trans-Siberian Railway. Yo, my words. <clears throat> Feel sick. Feel like a chicken. You slid in an oven. You done anything? Like this? No, no, I haven't. No, of course I haven't. Why would I? Think about what you're asking me there, Richard. Have I done anything like this before? What's got in a tumble dryer? What do you mean? Have I done anything like this before? Can you hear me? We will hear you and see you. Tumble dryer. Richard. Ready? So you start off slowly. Okay. I can feel that. Yeah. It's moving now. It's not moving. It is moving now. That is moving. Try to calm down, please. They're trying to check your uh, blood pressure. Hi. Calm down. Stop saying that. Put me in this situation. When the test begins, we tell you. It's a mad thing. It was 30 years old, that, that bit of kit. 30 years old. And it looked it. Everything is ready. Here we go. It's beginning. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. Wow. Oh, fuck. It was like a giant swing ball. And I was oh, sat in the ball. Oh, Jesus Christ. 0 0.5. Only half of 1G. It's dipping up and down, then. Uh, okay, 1G. Uh, How do you feel? Yeah, just feel a bit... Uh, uh. Work with signals. Yeah, I am, yeah. Good for you. One more time. How uh, fast that? Okay, we go down. Uh. <laughs> Did it? It was all right. I thought I did a good job in the end. No, it did not that hard being a spaceman. It's sort of built up as being tricky and complicated, but you just got to sit on your ass. <laughs> At the end of the day, think about it. They sent a chimp. I mean, when you're taking over from a chimp, no, it's not a difficult job, is it? There's no pressure on you. No, they didn't. He got off on the monkey news. That's not real. He <laughs> goes, it's not that hard to send him out. Oh my God, he sent out. Book. Bullshit, man. <laughs> In fact, there is pressure on you, because if you don't get it right, they go, what are you doing? Chimp got it. Chimp managed to do it. Why, why are you ballsing it up? <laughs> Just got to go to uh, a briefing in. for the zero gravity yeah. thing, you know, find out what it's all about. 7 uh, a.m. We will meet you near the central gate, and uh, we will take you to the... Uh, during, during the flight itself, you feel bad. Don't try to keep it in yourself. Vomit. After vomiting, you'll be better. One more thing about the, the lamps, which are very hot, because the power is around... I don't want to start whizzing about in zero gravity. <laughs> it's worried me more seeing the briefing, seeing the footage of people floating about. Even Stephen Hawking has been up there, he's done it. Yeah, but what damage can he possibly do to himself now? <laughs> he's knackered. Years ago, when they first got on the moon or in space, it was all, one small step for man, giant leap for mankind. <coughs> in that footage, they've got David Coulthard up there, messing about in a racing car. Oh, sorry. That isn't what it was invented for. I thought his communications and all that, they're just chucking is... shit up there. Great, man. What else can we put in? What else can we see? Fuck it up, Stephen Hawking. I've noticed there's some certain people, some certain countries it brings into scenarios. People bring Stephen Hawking, scenarios it brings in China. It's always China. He loves China so much. What the? What's that line? God, I'm so sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't help it in there. I couldn't hold it in. My bad. Floating about. They don't get any shit. Harry, have you got that old mattress? We can take it up. Do you want to see it? Do you know what I mean? What are they doing? <laughs> Medical. Hello, what is your name? Carl. Bill Kinton. What sicknesses did you have during your life? Oh, loads. <laughs> I get headaches a lot, back pain, I've got flat feet, kidney stones. Do you have them now? Mm, I might have them. Glands <laughs> <sighs> swollen. Our temperature is normal. It can't be. We will go to another doctor. <laughs> can be. All right, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. What's going on? Was getting excited about the zero gravity flight. 
can't do it. She doesn't recommend you to fly, but you still can fly. Not if she... I've got to listen to the doctor. <laughs> they have to give you a medical before you get on it. The problem is with your throat. Uh, hold on, what do you mean? Well, I can't do it. I would have loved oh, to no. do it. I would have been so happy, really. <laughs> she said, your neck's all swollen, your nose is glowing, and your ears are wet or something. You sound like a fucking Labrador. Oh. This is glowing. You can't, you can't, you can't do the neurogramming then. It's too dangerous, is it? It's too dangerous, but I'll just chuck something else up there. What do you mean? Give them something else to go up with. They want to see Carl Pilkington. No, but they've booked it They're now, haven't they? We've booked the flight and they might as well do it. It's good. Just got to wait here now then. Not that bothered, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Ricky will moan going, what, we've spent all that money on a zero gravity flight. What else could I send up? A chimp. What Sick rebels? of rebels. <laughs> I know what'll happen, people will go, don't you regret not doing it? No, not really. Never wanted to float about, it's never been a dream. I'm not one for getting ill either, I don't get ill that often. Got really ill when I was a kid, and I ate some old donuts <laughs> from outside Agenbach's, it's a local bakery. I went round the back and there was a load of cream donuts there and I ate them. Anyway, the cream was off, I was in agony. <laughs> Doctor came round, told me mum that I was gonna die, he was messing about, she didn't know. <laughs> She had a panic on, she called me dad at work, said, you've got to come home, Carl's dying. Wow, oh, what's up with him? Is that a load of old donuts? <laughs> Meant to be whizzing through space and talking to you about donuts. Sorry. Sky are going to be well pissed off with this. Oh, I've upgraded to second class just so I can stretch my legs out. I'm just getting sick of this journey now. It's mental how long this is. It's mental. It's the, it's the greatest real journey in the, in the world. Longest trip in the no, world. Well, right, exactly. Exactly. You said greatest. It's not. It's, it's the, the longest. Greatest. They've sold something on the worst thing about it. <laughs> Why do you want to do something the longest? Go the longest. To, go to Tenerife on the longest flight. <laughs> you won't do that. You know, I, I want to get there, see it and go home again. You're missing the point, Carl. Not missing the point. It's the journey. Not missing the point. It goes a third of the length of the world. I know. Well, look, again, it's madness. If you go in that distance, get on a plane. You've moved on. It's 2011. No one questions anyone, do they, when they say, what do you want to do before you die? You're on the longest train journey. It's never followed up with, what? Why? What are you doing that for, you knob? What are you for, you knob? All right. What are you doing? Are you bored? A little bit, yeah. I've still got this sort of throat annoying me a little bit, but yeah, a little oh, bit shit. bored. Not much to do, is there? Um, well, once again, your mate Rick has come to your rescue, because um, I've arranged a bit of company for you. I know you're a, a people person, oh, so I've God. arranged you to meet a little magnetic fella. Get yourself down to cabin five. Um, you can't miss him. He'll have cutlery stuck to his face. Apparently there's a lot of magnetic people in Russia for some reason. Oh, I'm up for that. It's alright, someone to talk to. Hello? Mikhail? How are you doing? Mikhail Modric. So you're a human magnet? Mm -hmm. They're magnet. Ma magnet. Ma magnet. What the f... It's so tacky. Well, they're not even, they're not special or anything. What is going on? I've never heard of such a thing. I don't know what use it is. <laughs> Looks a bit ridiculous like that. I, I mean, cutlery drawers are next to now. You can get one for two quid. You're like a human post-it note. Do you want to What? Oh. Magnet man. Magnet man. Were you magnet baby? His children are magnet. What? Yeah. That's a normal family photo, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> Handy when out shopping. Handy, yeah. When when you go food shopping, carrier bags these days are really weak, but very thin. He comes out of Waitrose. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what about that? Can you do that hands free? Allah, Allah. No. 
And can you stick it on your head? А no, вот let go. See, that's where that would be useful. Вот это вот, что он тебе показывает, посмотри. Oh, it's being useful, your ears be killing you, get some airports, get some earphones. Oh god, just the stuff that comes out of his mouth, just never stops, love it. If you could walk around, chatting. Свой магнит на него передал. I am passing my magnetic powers to you. I think an accident's gonna happen. Best to forget out because he's getting heavy stuff. It's a bit silly. Best to forget. Good idea. Can't think of anything where you go, brilliant. I'm a magnet. When do you need to be a magnet? Well, what superpower would you like then? I came up with one. I'd be bullshit, man. There's so many meetings going on where you know people are bullshitting. I just like to walk in, I wouldn't need a special costume, just dress like this. And I'd fly in, I'd go bullshit. <laughs> You're talking bullshit. And they'd go, oh, it's bullshit, man. And I'd go, yeah, I, it is bullshit, man. You're talking bullshit. And eventually, people would stop talking shit. Anything that's. I remember this. I remember this time I watched the clip. I watched. Ah. This is why you guys told me to watch them clips. Uh, <clears throat> I watched a short clip about. I can't wait to watch it. But then this segment came up and they were like, oh, what would you like to be? And it goes, Bullshit Man. So yeah, that's why I said Bullshit Man earlier. That stick to me. But hearing him saying it again, it's still funny. It's still so funny. Bullshit Man. What's going on in the world? A bloke selling a car that needs, you know, it's knackered. He's going to say, Great run of this. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> 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 hey Carl, Steve Merchant here. Oh, How are you, mate? You know, I've, I've actually managed to track down a traditional healer who sort of works with nature and hopefully will help you to you know, fully appreciate life. Ooh, so, um, sure yeah, get up for the next stop, mate. Can't imagine Russians being into therapy. It's a bit Why? soft. It's a soft thing to do, isn't it, when people have to do that? The Russians are really hard. I thought they would, you know, they'd think it's a load of old bollocks. <laughs> Carl. Hi, yeah. how are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Dig it. 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 Dig I don't even watch the surprise. I've seen obviously I've seen the surprise. I've seen the picture of the tip. I've never watched it, but I've, I've learned about it. And that guy looks like someone that would be in that kind of show. So he's right. <laughs> Should be the Sopranos, you know. Oh my god. What time did you start? Fuck Maybe so. half an hour ago. That'll be big enough, won't it? Should match your size. It's my size. Exactly. Ooh. Sometimes you're better off not asking questions. Oh, do you understand what you're doing now? I've got kind of worked it out. I'm digging my own grave. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Is it... Is it full body? No. Yes. So your head's under? Голова внутри? Да. Well, what, you, what do you mean? How do you breathe? You'll use the pipe. What the fuck? There's no rules. There's no rules here. It's Russia. They haven't got rules in day-to-day -day life, have they? Do what you want here. <laughs> Nuttersville. Usually, the signal of three <laughs> beeps, we immediately take the person out of the ground. Oh, like this. Oh, oh. There's no proper system. I said, what do you do? He said, you just go... <laughs> I said, what, three? You could do two, do what you want. Well, hang on a minute. Let's, let's have a system here if it goes tits up. That's what I mean. I, I, ju honestly, just leave my hands out is the best thing. Even cover my head if you want. Cover the head and go like that. And that means get me out. Hi right, Steve, it's Carl. Um, can you give us a call when you get this? Because I'm just at that thing you set up. Me being buried alive. I don't know if you know what it is, but it, they, they cover you totally. I thought they left your head out or something, but they, they want to cover me up. Call me back as soon as you get this. What a is this. Ricky, it's Carl. Uh, I've just left a message on Steve's phone. Just, um, I'm at the burial thing that I'm having done, being buried alive. <laughs> I'm not that happy about it. It's bloody balmy, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if you know what it is. If you get this, can you call me? Just so you know what it is. And if you're... Just give us a call. See ya. <clears throat> if it's quiet, 
my brain is always against me. My brain is never on my side. My brain will make me panic. It'll be going, what are you doing? There's worms in here. You could die here. Are they still up at the top? You know, all that, my brain's against me. Mm. So I need to distract it with something else. Give it some music to listen to and it'll be happy. I don't want to panic my brain. It's like easy. Surprise. Mm. Let's give it a go then. I'm just going to listen to some music. Akabilk, Stranger on the Shore, it always calms me down. Well, let's do it. Hang on, I haven't got a pipe. <laughs> wow. This is one of them things when they tell you not to try at home, isn't it? Well then why is it alright for me to do it, but not them? What's it like down there, Carl? Yeah, it's fine. Just, just let me have a bit of peace and quiet, will you? Hello, boy. Got your message? Yeah, that sounds horrible. I wouldn't do it. But, uh, the thing is, if they bury you and just leave your head out, that's more dangerous because someone is definitely think it was a football. <laughs> Give it a boot. Don't panic. That'll True. make it worse. So if you don't cool. like it and you get down there, it's horrible. Just so I'm a celebrity, get me out of it. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. That's what Kerry Katona did. And she was mother of the year. <sighs> All right. See you later. Bye. Hello? Alright mate, how's it going? Not too bad, how are you? I did that thing yesterday, got buried alive. Cheers for that. <laughs> that was alright, wasn't it? What, being buried in the ground having a hose pipe stuck in your mouth? Brilliant. <laughs> to be honest, it has been the most relaxing thing I've done since I've been here. What does that tell you yeah. about Russia? It sounds to me like you've been pretty much sort of having a lot of <laughs> range your own time, which is great. I know you need, you know, to chill out time. So what we've done is we just managed to... What does that tell you about Russia? Oh God, Russia's getting a lot, of, a lot of jokes here. Oh my God, poor Russia. What the? Arrange <sighs> um, a little bit of a sort of sporty excursion for you. You just got to do a quick detour to uh, <laughs> Mongolia, and then you're you're all set. Looks beautiful though. Just me left. I'm not good on horses. Just take me time, slowly. Mm -hmm. Oi. Mm -hmm. No rush. Mm -hmm. That's it. Even slower if you want. Mm -hmm. Trans Siberian. Mm -hmm. oh. so balls like leather. Hard. Hard skin, like your boots. Bollocks. I'm with you to do some sport. That's your house. You got a satellite dish. You got a satellite TV. You got Sky. Sky. Sky One. Why? Why are they showing me a picture of a wrestler? Mongols and Steve will be you will wrestle at Stan Adam. Why? Why me? Because he had injury from an accident in the head, so he cannot wrestle. Yeah, I had an injury. Driving? Weak wrist. He's saying that if you wrestle tomorrow on behalf of the family, they will really appreciate it. But I don't think I will win. So you're going to be disappointed. I wrestle. <laughs> I don't win. You get no money, I no prize. Then what? All the village will know, like, Carl from ah. this family wrestled from UK, so that's like a good prize for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like an owner. They seem really friendly. Of course they're friendly. They want me to wrestle for them. <laughs> he said he's got a damaged head. Now, he said it's a, a motorcycle accident. Where's the motorbike? No motorbike here. He's done that wrestling. 
but he didn't want to tell me because it would worry me. <laughs> motorbike accident. I'm seeing anyone on a motorbike. It's on horse. What a lie that is. <laughs> I think your outfit's arrived for tomorrow. I'm leaving my underpants on. Why? What do you mean for? What the? They're all wearing them. They're not wearing them. This isn't a costume to fight in. I'm not happy with this. The fight was one thing. Looking like this, and I'm going to get battered. You get battered. It's degrading. You got the top on, right? I don't know. I've no idea. It's not the sort of thing I normally wear, Richard, if I'm honest. So I don't know if I've got really? it right or not. I'm sorry about that. It feels too small. It's like a small cardigan. Are you sure that you haven't got one of the kids' clothes mixed up with this? I look so gormless in a shadow. I've never had that. I've never seen my shadow and thought, what a div a look. What a div a look. I look like an acorn. <laughs> Right, I suppose I best get this wrestling training done then. <laughs> Careful, Kali. Oh shit! Hang on, why have you got these clothes on? Why am I wearing this? You're <laughs> this on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a my did a reaction to a Mongolian band before. I can't remember what they're called, but they did a song called You Ve You Ve You. You Ve You. Dun, dun, dun. It's a good song, good song. I can't remember what they It's a big band from Mongolia. Is it Mongolia? I can't remember that. If you do know, please let me know. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, but are you ready for for the fight today? Yeah. Is he? Just get get it done. Get it over with. We, we all know the result, eh? Do you know what I mean? People at home aren't going to be. Oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> what a mix this is. I could go into a jumble sale blindfolded and pick up random stuff and get a better mix than this. What is this? What sort of look is this? It's their national dress. I've never about. seen it. I've watched Mr. Ben as a kid. Mr. Ben? He travelled all across the world, Mr. Ben. I never saw him looking like a knob. <laughs> It looks good out. though, it looks very good. Yeah, yeah I was That's hoping for it to rain, yeah. Look at the size of the people behind me. I'm going to get battered. I've had about 40 minutes training. I'll tell you, you better have that camera running because it's going to be over in a flash. You have to slow it down and all that. There's not going to be highlights, there's not going to be bad bits or good bits. It's going to just be whoop bang like that. Yeah, it's a good bit. Quicker than a bungee jump. You might do well. Here we go. Careful, careful. Oh. 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 Oh.
Es que empate, tío. Let's get back on the train. Wait for time, I told you that would happen. You tried, you tried, you did try. You did it, that's good. This is a bit annoying. Just looking at this map, we started off in Moscow. Steve said, oh yeah, just go to Mongolia, you're passing, go and do the sport thing. Done that, we're still on that same line, which means this train is going to Beijing. That's where I've been. Did that last time when I saw the Great Wall. Didn't like it. They know I didn't like it. That's probably my favourite episode. It's between that and India. Probably China, probably... Become because that's when that was the first one I watched and I was so shocked. You know, being introduced to Carl and seeing how he lived his life, I was so, so shocked. Literally, that. check that out if you haven't seen that. That's like my, probably my favourite. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why I'm going back there. Hello? All right. How are the Mongols treating you? Uh, yeah, the Mongols are all right. <laughs> I haven't gotten the problems with any Mongols. I'm gonna anyway, I'm calling you because I've been looking at the map, right? This train's not going across Russia anymore. It's heading to Beijing, and I've been there. I've told you I hated it. I said China dreadful, worst place I've ever visited. <laughs> okay, right. One, you can see all of China. It's a huge place. Two, that's why I sent you there because you hated it. When will you learn? This is not a holiday. So go and explore it and make something for the telly, please. I mean, I, I wouldn't go there because I saw um, video abroad and uh, it looked awful. But um, we're not the same, are we? So uh, you might enjoy it. All right. I can do what I want, can I? The last time I came here, you know, when I saw the Great Wall, didn't really enjoy it, did I? And I got back and I sort of said to a mate where I'd been, and he told me about this place. And I was gutted. I never came here. All this way, I never saw it. So it's weird in a way that I've had a second chance. It was like it was meant to be. I think it's in keeping with what, what we've been doing. You know, travel programme, showing you the world, how others live, little communities and all that. Kalitu. This is it. It's Dwarf Village. I feel like no matter who you are, no matter how old you are, he just, he just drags you in. You just love his personality. You love the kind of person he is. Like, I've never, obviously, I've never met him and I've never chatted to him, but I feel like I know him. Do you guys get the same kind of uh, feeling? I do anyway. Let's see. It's like this little town that they set up. Dwarves used to get out of time or something in China. So they set this up, place where they live and work. They've made it for themselves, everything they want. Mm -hmm. It's made for being a dwarf. It's ideal. But well, they're all happy. Can you help? Look at the skill of this. I'm doing a little bit of woodwork. Looks amazing. I mean, that's, that's not crap, is it? He's done it all, it's all sort of miniature, look. Wow. It's really cozy. Like I feel like not letting any disability you might have, not letting that get off, you know, get the best of you is the best thing. Cause yo, just because you know it's smaller than most people doesn't mean you can't do this, you can't do that. Just do whatever you want in life. I keep saying life is too short for you not to take chances. Take chances. Learn, learn you know, from your mistakes. You know, sometimes it's not gonna go all rosy, but that's how you learn. That's how you get better. Let's go. And to him, it's massive, isn't it? You can show me around one of your houses. Okay. I haven't been in one of these. Just slow down a little bit. Slow down. Just hang on a minute. Just hang, How big hang is on. that? Oh. <laughs> now you're not meant to laugh. Too small for you. Yeah, I am looking for something a bit bigger. <laughs> the biggest man who's ever been in it. It's good, isn't it? It's too small. Do you know any dwarfs? Yeah. I know one. I know a little dwarf. He's a mate of Ricky's. I don't know what he'd think of this. He's always playing roles as like elves and Santa's little helper and all that. Wow. So at the end of the day, what's the difference? At least here, they work every day. 2 p.m. showing seven days a week. Dwarfs at home, what, what, they're busy at Christmas. <laughs> what else are they doing for the rest of the year? What do you mean? There he is. Sat on a shelf. His name's Warwick. 
Any film with a dwarf in it, he's a... What's his first name? That's the, I think that's the guy that's in Morning of Life with him, I think. I've seen that, I've seen pictures. What's that guy's name? It's something Warwick. Uh, can't remember his first name, but it's so, definitely something Warwick. Hello? Is that Warwick? Yeah. Hey, it's Carl. Sounds Rick like is mate. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, what are you up to? I'm just in China. I'm looking at a, a dwarf village and I wanted to run the, the whole sort of concept by you because I know that people at home get a bit funny about, oh, you shouldn't be, you know, having a little dwarf village and all that. And it's really good. The people in there are dead happy. Uh, nice little show they put on. I just thought, you know, it sort of covers me yeah. if I speak to you and say, I'm at a dwarf village and you go, yeah, I've heard of that. It's nice. Uh, good on you. No, well, I have heard of it definitely, but I don't think it's nice. Why not? Um, I mean, it's like a, it's like going back to the days of the freak show again, isn't it? Really, I mean, they're all in there together, and you're going in there to, to gawp at them, basically. Uh, Makes sense. Well, yeah, I did. And you know, there is like little blokes in little funny outfits and and all that, and you do sort of smile. Funny but they're smiling. I think it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's terrible. I can't believe yeah. you know. You don't know who's, who's behind the scenes running that. Did you meet them? Yeah, there's a king. <laughs> Isn't he little? Of course he is. There might be a show king. There might be a... No, no, he was the head... No, he was the head man. He was at the top. He had a little cloak on and a crown, shades on. You could tell he was it's in charge. Real. What's happening out in China? It's, it's segregation. The rule is not real. It's exploitation, seriously. It's not. The, you see, you haven't been... This is what annoys me with people who... I'm, I'm in the thick of it here. I'm stood by their houses. They're all happy. There's a woman who I met who's who's a little dwarf. She's only been here four months. She's already got her own mushroom to live in. <laughs> now, you tell me that's wrong. Mushroom. Mush. He called the house a mushroom. God. I'm just a bit disappointed. That is wrong. That Hang is on a minute. Wrong. You're being all on your eye horse and that. The picture that I've shown of you on the telly so people knew you were, you were sat on a shelf. Yeah, well, it doesn't change my opinion, to be honest. I was doing something that was important while I was doing that, anyway. It was so, if all your work dries up, they're not making another Star Wars, you can't dress up as a little monkey, you've got no money coming in, you wouldn't think about coming here, then? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely oh, not. Legend. That ending there, that was... I'm not used to I'm him talking to someone else altogether. I'm used to him chatting to... Carl, no, Carl, Carl Perkins trying to Ricky Gervais or Stephen Merchant, so, but it's good to bring some other character. Yeah, but I can't wait to see the next one. That was really, really good. Literally, that was one of, one of the funniest. Again, funniest to me is probably the one in China. China, India, Mexico was really funny. Egypt was so, so funny. I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, you guys want to see more. Brazil was funny. Oof, oof, Brazil was very funny. You want to see more, you know, so do like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon. If you just go out to Patreon first, check out the membership, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.